Welcome everyone, iOS 26 release day is upon us. So you can see I have iOS 26 in my iPhone 15 Pro right now. However, this is the developer beta. I'll show you how to get that later on if you just can't wait. However, if you want the release date and time, you know, you're currently on the older iOS 18, 17, etc., then take a look at this. So this is from the Apple Hub on X, and you can see iOS 26, it is available later today, and you can see all of the cities and the time the software releases. So what I will do is I'm gonna slowly scroll down and just carefully look for your city or your location. This isn't country, you can see, for example, London, 6 p.m. Monday. Uh, it also says Monday or Tuesday here, and it's basically gonna be today, later on today. And so I'm just gonna scroll all the way down and just look for your country or region. And you should see that city and then the exact time and the day right next to it. And this covers virtually every country in the world. I'm just gonna scroll up a little bit more and then I'll show you how to get iOS 26 right now. If you just can't wait, you can get the stable release a little bit early, but I'm just scrolling all the way through. And again, shout out on X x.com forward slash the apple hub this is uh their image and i'm just using it because it is pretty good and so you saw right there that's when ios 26 releases however the stable version is on my iphone 15 pro it's installed right now and you can do this yourself if you really want ios 26 it only takes about 45 seconds to one minute so this iphone here not on ios 26 no liquid glass if you wanna get the stable release early, just head to the developer.apple.com website, then tap the double lines at the top left, then tap on account. On here, you just need to sign in to your Apple account. This is free to do. Apple developer used to be paid subscription. It's not paid anymore. You don't need to pay for anything if it does ask. This is Apple's website as well. After sign in, you should see this Apple Developer Agreement screen. And then all you need to do is, once you load up this page, just scroll all the way down, tick this checkbox, and then hit the Submit button. Once you've done that, you'll be enrolled for the beta software updates. Uh, if you don't see the screen, you've already done it. Just make sure you agree to this Apple Developer Agreement. And then once you have done that, all you need to do is just go into your settings, and look for the software update. And you will now have this new beta updates option. You can tap into this and you can get the iOS 26 developer beta. We'll just tap it a couple of times. And this is the stable version of iOS 26, which is gonna release later on to the general public, but developers have it one week early. Now, some people do have this concern, which is that they have this new beta updates toggle. You know, if they sell their phone, will the uh, customer not appreciate having this option? However, once you sign out of your Apple ID, this beta updates area disappears from settings. There's no reason why you'd want to unenroll from beta updates in the future, because if you don't want a new beta of iOS 26, you just tap into beta updates, and then you turn this one off, and then you will only get the stable releases of iOS. So I hope this video helps you out. Uh, YouTube have been suppressing my channel. So if you want to support me, the easiest way to do that is it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button on this video and also just left a comment saying, you know, I'm excited for iOS 26 or if you got iOS 26 early with this tutorial, just say like, thank you, you know, or just leave any, just leave anything. Think of a question, anything. It really means the world to me. Helps me out so much. Bye-bye.